must-haves to spruce up your home for spring, for summer, whether it's indoors, outdoors. We're going to beautify that area, but first and foremost, we're going to start with our fabulous today special to spruce up that home, our pressure washer. you are going to see how our pressure washer is powerful enough to blast away the dirt, the grime, the mold, the pollen. And let's be frank, right? It's been a really harsh, long winter. How does your home look? Is it holding up? Is all of the snow, the sleet, the ice, leaving behind all the dirt? In our area, our homes are green. Our cars are green. It's like the green monster, right? Well, guess what? With our pressure washer, we are going to spruce up our home where it's easy, quick, and powerful. And look what our pressure washer from Earthwise is going to give you these results. And it's simple. It's almost the most gratifying job you're gonna do in and around your home that honestly you get addicted to. If your fence has the mold, it doesn't look brand new. Maybe you're just trying to sell your home or you're putting it on the market. You wanna spruce it up, right? Look at all the mold on the bottom of the fireplace. Maybe it's your siding. Maybe you're gonna be thinking about doing that spring cleaning with our pressure washer from Earthwise. This is an HSN exclusive world launch. We've got seven gorgeous colors, perfect for spring cleaning. And it honestly, it doesn't matter what color you get, just that you get one because you do not wanna miss out on 1800 PSI. This is a brand new design, making it more portable, more maneuverability than ever before. So you're not lugging that huge pressure washer behind you. Plus, we're not sacrificing on the fun colors. Here is your yellow. I'll double check with Rocky to see which one will be the first to go. Almost 4,000 already spoken for. We have it in your green. I feel like the yellow is kind of like that commercial yellow that you see for pressure washers. The green is a deep evergreen, like a forest green. If you want a pop of color, here is your red. Gray is going to be the most neutral for men, for women. Gray is the most popular, I'm being informed. We also have it in the purple. If you're a purple lover and you want to add that pop of color, I find color motivates me to do my chores. So if you like the color purple, maybe it's going to get you outdoors and get you cleaning. Pick up that purple. Always a little extra incentive. Never hurt anyone, right? Then we have it in the blue. And then back here is that beautiful teal color. Teal is the most limited. We have five flexible payments of $33.99 to get it at home. Everything is on board, attached for you. So you're not going to lose anything. You've got that long pressure hose that I'm telling you, 25 feet, you can do any job in and around your home. But we're going to jump on over because we're going to join our very special guest. Peter Kilcullen is joining us. He is our guest expert when it comes to cleaning, when it Thanks. comes to bring us problem-solving products that make it, quite frankly, Peter, easier to do the jobs around the house it, that nobody wants to do. Exactly. And these really can be difficult jobs without a pressure washer. Right. But with a pressure washer, they're almost <laughs> fun. I would they say are. a little bit. Because you're going to get, I'm going to show you, okay. instant and immediate results when using this pressure washer. And that's what everyone loves. Dirty, slimy, green, moldy pavers, driveway, the sidewalk. This is gonna instantly blast away all that dirt and grime. That you are gonna love the results. And you're gonna love how it doesn't take any elbow grease. It doesn't take any chemicals. Look at this, you can do this just by attaching your garden hose and the differences are immediate. It is so amazing what you can do with this. We give you everything you need to really, not only harness that 1800 PSI, but really target it for different jobs to right. make sure that you have them all covered. So it can be those pavers, it can be washing mm -hmm. the car, it can be the outside of your house, all of them are covered because we're giving you all the right different cleaning tips that you need. Right. It's it, such a great pressure washer. It truly is. When you see the before and after and you see yeah. how powerful, you're not on your hands and knees, you're not taking bleach and throwing it onto your pavers, it's the pressure of that water. And Peter, when we talk about 1800 PSI, what does PSI even mean? Well, that's, that's the pounds per square inch okay. of that pressure that you're getting, that power. So 1800 PSI is exactly what you need. This is going to be, you know, perfect for 99% of the jobs you're gonna do at your house. I've done all these jobs at my own home. 
1800 PSI has been perfect. So we're gonna, you know, let's make the list. You know, when I go out back, I have, I have the pool out back. You have the pool deck, it's always yeah. dirty. I'm using the pressure washer. I have a PVC, a white PVC fence. I'm using the pressure washer there. It works perfectly. I also have a, a raised little garden bed in the back and it's brick. The brick is green constantly. And then the mortar that's supposed to be gray gets all black. The pressure washer solves that. So I can tell you from experience, 1800 PSI is perfect. And this one matches it so perfectly with all those different cleaning tips. Peter, I love the brand new design. It no. looks like a commercial unit, exactly. but I don't have to like topsy-turvy try to move it from one area to the other. I love these oversized wheels. It is so, it, it's, it's exactly that. If you went and looked for, you know, one that costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars, it's gas powered, it's extremely loud. The fumes. It, exactly. In many cases, it's a lot more PSI than you need. So when you attempt to do your house or somewhere, you have to be very careful. It could cause damage. This has that same design where we have this metal frame around the, the unit protecting it and then we have the largest detergent tank we've ever had 64 ounces so all of this together look at this all you're doing is attaching your garden hose that's it right there you thread that on turn that on button and you are ready to Peter, go. I okay. mean, it's, it's it's so simple. Because I own a pressure washer, obviously this is brand new today. I don't have this one, but I will tell you, it is like the bane of my existence when I have to connect my hose because the knob is so small. I like that there's even thread for you to be able to get your hand in here and twist that on. Exactly. So it's going to be a quick, easy connect simple. where you're not going to have to struggle. The fact today that when you think about, you know, sprucing up your home, when you think about your siding, your windows, anything that's an eyesore on your home. For me, Peter, we have a front porch. The cobweb, the bug, all the stuff that builds up. Now I go out on the front porch, I blast it all off, and you know what? It's quick. It's easy. I always say pressure washing is addictive because once you start and you see how gratifying it is that everything that looked old now looks brand new and can look refurbished, it's one of those tasks that typically most of us would say, oh, I don't want to do that. Now you can't wait to get out there and pressure wash. No, it really is. This will be the job that you want, want to, to do, do right. because it really does become an obsession. Because the cool thing is you can walk out your front door. You can turn around and you can pressure wash the front door. You can do the little, you know, steps or porch or patio that you have out front yeah. there as well. You can do all those different things. Then you can do the walkway leading down to your driveway or to the sidewalk. You can clean the sidewalk. And you are going to be so amazed when you go out there. You're not even sure that it's dirty because you're so used to seeing it. Believe me, when you hit it with yeah. the pressure washer, it is night and day. Immediate. It's so gratifying. You will walk all the way around the house. Now, maybe you have stepping stones leading right. to the backyard. Maybe you have that PVC fence. You can clean it all. So I'll do some more of this wood okay. fence. This hey, is a Peter, great one. I mean, this, yeah. to me, I mean, look at how much hose you have. I mean, this seems like a, a, a thing that you're going, okay, why is that host excited about this? It is. Because I don't have to constantly move it. Right, 25 feet of pressurized hose. So now you can do the entire deck. You can get all the way around right. the car that you're washing. You can do the whole sidewalk. I was telling the story earlier that we have our, like, our little porch out front and then the walkway that goes down to the mailbox. Right. The, the last six feet was never pressure washed by me. <laughs> you and you know read. my wife, Debbie, she was like, why haven't you done that? And I was like, well, it doesn't reach. And it's like a whole big oh. hassle to get that last six right. feet. But if I had 25 feet, which now I do, because now I have the red one, but I haven't done it yet. But it's, <laughs> it's amazing how much easier it is. So I want to show you some more of this fence. Okay. Because here's the other thing about pressure washing. We can revive a lot of these things that maybe you look at that fence and you're thinking, I've got to throw that away. It's time to replace the fence. But before you replace it, look at this. You hit it with that pressure washer. I'm using that 25 degree tip and we'll be able to show you all the different tips that we have. But this one is the most versatile. But look how quickly, look how easily I'm transforming that fence. I actually got some mud on there too. And look at the difference. So this is brand new wood. It looks amazing. Right. And this is what it looked like, just old and dirty and moldy. Seconds. Imagine if you had to do that without a pressure washer. Uh, it well, would be impossible. I think what would a you lot do? of us would think we have to buy a whole new fence. Sure. And a whole new fence is going to be thousands of dollars versus our pressure washer today on five flexible payments of $33.99. So it's the smartest way to kind of refurbish, revitalize something that 
looks old, that has mildew, has mold, has pollen. And think about it. I said, I was talking to my husband about pressure washing. And I'm like, do you remember when our sidewalk up to our front house was so like moldy and mildewy? Like when it rained, it was slick. It sits there, yep. It's slippery. And you feel like you could, you could fall because it has so many layers of mold. If you blast that away with a pressure seconds. washer, it not only looks brand new, but now it's safer because it's not slippery. It's not slick. And with the free shipping today, to be able to get this at home, if you're picking it up, we'd love to hear from you. 1-866-376-8255. I'd love to say happy Easter to you. Hear you know, why you're picking it up, what you plan on cleaning. But Peter, no matter what you're cleaning, there's a nozzle on board that will yeah. be able to uh, help you. Talk us through these exactly. nozzles. Exactly. So th yeah, this one, we have all of them on there. But they're all they're meant for all different jobs because they're really giving you different types of pressure. So if we start with the uh, the white one, that's our 40 degree. So that's going to be a little bit less pressure. So great for washing the car. And then we have the green one. That's the 25 degree. You're going to use that for most everything because that's the most versatile. Then zero degree, that's that laser point. It's an amazing, powerful blast. That'll be able to clean the second story windows and screens. And then the black there, that's the soap tip because that one is going to apply the soap at low uh, pressure so you can get the soap on there and you can keep that soap tank full you're not gonna have to fill it over and over again so that one is gonna be really great and then we also oh, well this is showing you just different jobs and what different tip might be suitable for so that, that job chart is going yeah. to come in sure. your box when you get this at home from HSN and from Fieldsmith that little guide is in there so if you're listening to this and you're going I'm never gonna remember all this don't worry about it because that comes included now right. you're gonna show and us that turbo right tip. the turbo nozzles okay. included as well because now if you're talking about that huge driveway you want to have something that can cover a lot of ground wait till you see what this turbo nozzle can do and I'll show you what it's doing it's spinning that powerful 1800 PSI and it's creating a tornado of power. So listen to that. And now you can see that little cone that it creates. I'm able to cover more ground while still maintaining all that power. So it's gonna make really quick work of all these different jobs. So if it's an entire porch or patio, no problem at all with that turbo nozzle. And I wanna show you, you know what? I'm gonna go right to this fence again, even on that fence. Listen to this turbo nozzle. Wow. Just go to that. work. I used the turbo nozzle on an entire PVC fence. It looked great and it made it a lot quicker. I love that noise. You hear that? Just doing all that work for you. It is so simple, it's so easy. You can do this. If you've never used a pressure washer right. before, you can do this and get great immediate results. Well, and I think that, you know, the beauty of it is you, all you do is have to plug it in. You know, there's no fumes, there's no gas, there's no measuring. One switch, you don't, you don't have to like crank anything to get it to turn on. It's not intimidating. And that's what I want in my home. I want to know I always don't have to rely on someone and I always don't have to pay someone. I told Peter I'm so tired of paying people to come to my home to do jobs. And now now owning our pressure washer, I can do it myself and save myself money. Now ours is electric, so that's just what I was talking about. It starts reliably every single time, no gas, no oil, no fumes. It has that 13 amp motor, which pushes 1.2 gallons of water per minute and up to 1800 PSI. So very powerful, very efficient, very water conservation. Like if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. This saves so much more water than your regular hose. 25 foot high pressure hose, so you don't have to keep Keep moving it back and forth. It's also fiber reinforced, so it's stronger, more durable. It has a large detergent tank, which is 64 ounces. It is our largest detergent tank we have ever offered. So maybe you're cleaning your RV. Maybe you're cleaning your boat. Guess what? You don't have to keep refilling it, which is awfully nice. Then you have all of the onboard nozzle storage. So everything is there for you. You're not going to lose all the different pieces. Here's everything you get. You get the pressure washer. You get the gun handle, the spray lance. You also get the high pressure hose, the four metal spray nozzles, the turbo nozzle, which you heard Peter talk about how much he loves that one, and the nozzle cleaning pin. Really quickly, I'm going to run down here because before we go back over to Peter and I join him, I want to share with you the colors so everybody can get their order in. We have it in the sunshine, happy, springy yellow. This is perfect for Easter, right? It just makes you
you want to clean. We have it in the green, red, gray, purple, and the blue. And then your final color option is in the teal on free shipping and five flexible payments. But Peter, it's time, instead of going to a car wash, to actually clean our car ourselves more efficiently and save us right. lots of money. Exactly. You can definitely save a lot of money. It just makes it easy. You can do it all the time. So now I've added that 40 degree tip. So you can see how it's a bit wider in that fan shape. I'm able to get a lot of the loose dirt off this car, get the car nice and wet, go on the under the wheel wells, I can get the tires and the rims. But check this out. Now I'm gonna go back to the unit. Hello, Robin. Hello. Robin's out here with me now. Look so at all the stuff we can is, clean. It's so great. I can just switch that out. Now I just go to this, our low pressure soap nozzle. So now I don't have to do anything else. It's gonna automatically access that 64 ounce detergent tank. And it'll put that soap on with low pressure. So watch the amount of soap that I'm able to put on here in seconds. I can apply that soap all around the car. Let it start to break down the grind all over that car even again going down onto the wheel well and over here and Robin you know what I just want to show everyone again we have that unit all the way over there and I'm getting all the way around the side of the car and I, I mean look how far away yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't even have it anywhere near the car look I'm over and here and we're still able to clean so much of this and that's because of that 25 inch 25 foot pressurized hose here, wait, but now I, I think I want to do it can I do it yeah I'll, I'll get the 40 degree tip you okay. can start rinsing it off so, Peter, when we want to change the tips, it's so how, simple. How do we do that? Yeah, this, this is okay. great. Again, it's a brass here, tip we'll that here. we're showing right here as well. And it all you do is, good. You, it's nice, you pull that back. <laughs> And then same thing when I put the new one on and you can see their metal as well. I put that on and it just snaps on there so it can't is come it, out. And is this like, this yeah, that's brass. It's brass, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, exactly. So now that's the 40 degree tip. So go ahead, you can start okay. rinsing and cleaning the car. And it, what, the same thing with all of them. Like, and so, this is the worst because that's where all the bugs get in Right, there. so now if you look at even at that headlight there, you can start rinsing the headlight, but if you want to get a little closer, you start you know, okay. utilizing more of that power. And then we've got the wheel well over there and the tire okay. that you can clean. Peter, this is addicting. It is. You'll be doing it all around. You won't want to wash your car ever again without the pressure washer. And you know the nice thing Robin, is... Robin, you have some experience with this. I, I do. Tell. I'm telling you, I said to Peter when I met him before the show, I said, I love pressure washing because honestly, like, I feel like all the time when my husband and I have things to do around the house, we're always having to hire someone like an electrician, you know, a con tractor. One of the things I love about pressure washing is I don't have to hire anyone. All I do is pull out my pressure washer and whether it's cleaning the siding, the windows, all the things that would normally take forever, I now do myself and save myself tons of money. It's funny, Peter, even in our neighborhood, like my neighbors will borrow our pressure washer. Well, that's going to happen to everyone who gets to today's special. Right? <laughs> neighbors are going to want to borrow. You're doing a much better job than I've done all day. Oh, stop it. You know what, Peter? And if someone is shorter because like I'm really tall I'm not going to spray you I promise <laughs> <laughs> but if someone you know you're just a little bit more petite than maybe like myself and Peter this is okay because number one you have a really long hose but then the gun and as far it shoots really allows you where you don't have to try to reach Peter the unit does it for you yeah and I'm going to show you this as well because you make a really good point what if yeah. you have a big truck or you have that RV or you okay. have a boat I can still use the zero degree tip on here now I don't want to get really close with it looks. It does look great. Yeah. But look, so now I can be way back here and I can right. still be cleaning that off. So if you want to wow. make sure that we can get up on top and get far. the rest of that soap off there. Again, you decide which one of these tips that you want to use. This one's giving you a lot more power from a distance, which I think is great. But look at this, Robin. We can now, and I know everyone at home is going to do this when they get their pressure washer. Yeah. I'm going to put this one back. This hey, is Peter, the red. car washes are expensive. Like, <laughs> and especially if there's more than one person in your in your in your home, your kids, your husband, you, your trucks, your boats, your RVs, and think about now how much more efficiently and how much more cost effective a pressure washer is. This to me is by far my favorite thing to be able to clean when, around when, the house. Did you see this one? This is yeah. a mesh chair that we have out here. This is great. I, I didn't even know how dirty it really could be. <laughs> but look what happens when I start hitting this with the pressure washer look at that. and all the dirt that just pours out of there. And even on that the, the trim right there it just does such a great job this would be something that you'd be spraying with chemicals and then potentially trying to use a brush 
but look at it just bringing it back to new in such a quick and easy way. I mean, that's a, a really, really amazing and before Peter, and after. I that doing didn't that. even look dirty. And imagine sitting in that chair with white pants or with right. your cute little outfit, and then you get up and you're like, oh no, my pants are ruined, or my top is ruined. Yeah, it's, it's, you think that you would have to replace this entire right. chair. And that wicker chair is another one, that's impossible to clean. To clean. How would you do it? You know what? Honestly, I think most times you just avoid cleaning these things. Right. You're like, how am I going to clean that? But not only the wicker, not only that PVC plastic we have, but this mesh chair. But your check out the chairs, cushions. Like if you've got rocking sure. chairs on your front porch, it's great to clean that as well. What about even cleaning these cushions? You're going to be able to do that as well and just blast away all the dirt and grime. We've got a... It's a now that is different. This stain has got worse since we've been here. But that's oh, look a good that. tip. Peter. Now it's taking it out. Yeah, let's talk wow. about this because at first you may have thought, okay, that's not going to work, but you can always get a little closer. Right? Absolutely. Look at that. It's disappearing now. Look I had at to that. blast that all away. That was neat. Hey, you guys have to come back to see this because it really is going away. I think they, uh, like, it's funny. The crew got nervous too, Peter. But look. No, okay. don't get nervous. Don't look get at that. Nervous. Here, let's do this one where okay, it's still, sorry. I mean, that is a really bad stain. But again, what's so cool about the pressure washer is how it's getting that power down through that cushion. And then you're gonna let that dry out and it's gonna look amazing. Right. I mean, that is definitely a cushion that you would be heading straight to the trash can to throw that away, but it does look really good. Okay, we're gonna keep switching these nozzles because I'm gonna go back to that zero okay. degree. Because listen to this, when I use that zero degree, that's the really powerful, right. listen For to that. For all the grill, for the grill. You see how it started cleaning? I haven't even really moved it around. And it just starts blasting away all the dirt and grime and grease and who knows what else. Look at that big spot right there. All of that off there in seconds. And then I'm gonna spin around over here and I want you to see again, I, this will go at least 16 feet in the air to blast away the siding. This is vinyl siding. It could be aluminum and brick. You can use it on the gutters, certainly on the windows. You've got windows where you wanna be able to get rid of all the bugs and dirt on the screens. You're gonna be able to do that as well. But this is such an easy job. And it's funny, anywhere that it seems to be sticking or the dirt, you just hold that pressure washer on there a second longer and it starts to blast it all away. I wanna go over to the windows real quick. I mean, look at the difference. You will see the dirt just pouring off there. No more scrubbing the windows. And then that bottom section has that screen on there and you're just blasting out all the dirt from in that screen. You'll see it all start to pour out down the bottom, the bugs. How about the shutters? Again, that blue looks nice, but after you hit it with the pressure washer, you are going to see the original color, what it should look like. But after the winter, all these areas get so grimy and dirty, you're gonna love it. One more thing, I'll, I'll finish this PVC. Look at that. More PVC patio furniture. This could be your PVC fence, the mold, the mildew, but look at that. I'm able to blast away all that dirt and grime. I mean, again, instant gratification. You can see the before and after on all of these things. Look at that. Robin, you know, everyone is going to get obsessed with their pressure washer. It's true, Peter. And I think that when you see that and you go to maybe it's a, a hotel or you go to any kind of park and everything is pristine, everything is clean, it's because they're using a pressure washer. When it comes to even the national monuments, they're using a pressure washer to clean them. And today we have the best value, 1800 PSI. I just want to quickly kind of give you a little tour of everything everything because you have an onboard cord. So meaning you're not going to be tripping. If you want to wind it up when you're done, that power cord is 35 feet. There you're getting to see where you add the detergent. The detergent has that built-in tank for 64 ounces. So whether it's a boat, whether it's an RV, it's your rims, it's a motorcycle, it's going to be such an easy way to be able to clean. You're not going to have to be, you know, a lot of us, when we think about the alternative, when it 
comes to cleaning our cars, we use a garden hose, right? The garden hose uses so much more water. A lot of us in California, Arizona, Florida are under water restrictions, right, Peter? And when you think about you can only use so much water, you can use it during this time frame, this window, we want to be more efficient. We want to be, uh, we want to be better for our earth and all the water we're using. That's why we use a pressure washer because it uses less water, but it pressurizes it so it's more powerful than a garden hose. If you would like, you have it in the teal, you have it in blue, in the uh, purple, gray, red, green, and the yellow. So all colors are available, free shipping and handling. You also have five flexible payments of $33.99. Now, if you'd also like to ask about our HSN Protection Plus, that is available because obviously you're gonna be using oh, yeah. this. And if anything should happen, guess what? You've got that available, but no worries. You are buying a top of the line, incredible pressure washer that you will enjoy using and it will give you results, which is the best part. I love this when we find the fencing that has all this green mold all over it. I mean, look at that. And this is instant gratification again. We're able to hit all of that. And you know what? If you really want to do this as fast as possible, it is amazing how quickly you can get this all back to that beautiful wood. Maybe you want to stain it or paint it. Maybe you just right. want that beautiful look of the raw wood. You're going to be able to do it with this pressure washer. And you know, Peter, as, and the, quickly. as, the, weather, as the weather changes, we want to be outdoors more. But when we're right. outdoors, maybe it's dining al fresco. Maybe it's having a party. And maybe it's a birthday party or you're having a barbecue, a picnic. And you know all the companies coming. What's the first thing we start to do when company comes, Peter? You we clean, clean. Up. But you know what? We Look don't that. want to get the bucket. We don't want to do it and get on our hands and knees or get up on a tall ladder. This is such a better way to clean and more powerful. Exactly. Did you see how quickly that went from right. that slimy green wood? And now it looks... So there you can see it on the back. I left that Look section that. right there. I mean, it is so different. Maybe many of you have brick or that exposed foundation and you have those cinder block foundation that gets all that slimy yep. green and dirt all over it. Again, use it on the outside of your house as well as that foundation. It is so easy, and the difference is so huge. Okay. Hey, Peter, I was going to ask you, for the soap that's in, do I need to empty the soap after, like, or can I just leave it in there for the no, next I, time? I would leave it in you there. leave it you in know, there. Someone was okay. asking earlier if I wanted to change from one type of detergent to the other. You yeah. can just put some water in there, and then you can just, oh, nice. you know, run it through with some water, okay. and then put a new one in there, however, however you want to do it. Peter, it makes it really easy. this before and after is it's so not, impressive. Well, you know, that was from Tim. You know Tim. He works here. Yeah. So we really? gave, yeah. And, and I, I laugh. I mean, Tim's probably used the pressure washer before but I let everyone know he's not a professional this isn't what he does right but he went home and did that that section that we took the photo of because he did the rest of it that was about 12 minutes worth of work it yeah. is amazing Can, I, I full, cannot believe the difference full disclosure did he stay in that no no or is that just wet? I would it's think. It's probably still, still wet. wet. Yeah. Um, right, but you know right. what? It makes it look brand new. That's totally the beauty. Does. And you don't have to replace I mean, your entire fence. What about brick? Brick is the worst. Like brick, even pavers. I, when you see the results that you get on brick, you'll be blown away. Because I have a couple of brick sections in the backyard. We have a, 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 a raised planter with all the brick. But it's not just the brick face. It's going to be all that mortar in between that gets all black. Right. And you will love it. It is amazing what this will do. But again, how about the outside of your house okay uh, you know what i'm gonna let you, you do this let me do yeah, it? i can hold those for you i really know I'll because put i put the up. zero degree tip on there so okay. we can clean those second story windows now, think about this if i didn't have a pressure washer with the power that this has 1800 psi i'd have to get on the ladder right peter exactly but or you'd be taking the, the screens out that zero degree tip will give you 16 feet of reach so you yeah. can get those windows then you can do the storm doors and the screens and then certainly that vinyl siding, the brick siding, and wood siding, aluminum. Go Robin! Go Robin! <laughs> Go Robin. Robin's dancing while pressure washing. This is so gratifying. That is to cool. Me. <laughs> It really is so simple. And Robin, it's it's less than two pounds in your hand. When you right. let go of the trigger, everything stops. The noise stops. It is so simple. Okay, do I have to stop? Because I want to keep I going. I think they're telling you we have to stop. I don't want to stop, I'm Rocky. not telling you to stop. Rocky, why do you got to take all my fun away? <laughs> He's not fun. He's right.
It's so definitely funny. not fun. All right, they tell me I have to stop. All right, but I'll be back. Okay, we'll, you'll be we'll back. We'll continue cleaning in yes, half an hour. Yes, Hey, we also want to remind you that we have free shipping and handling on select items for our lawn and garden. And everything in our show has four flexible payments, so definitely take advantage of the flex pay. But search outdoor on hsn.com for a further assortment. And especially thinking about sprucing up our lawn and garden, how about our pretty women, uh, pretty woman, treetop lily collection this is coming up brand new 1995 so timely for easter it's on four flexible payments of four dollars and 99 cents and are you ready for this guys six to eight feet that these are going to grow. So beautiful, bold, exquisite fragrance. Those are still to come. Michael Perry will be joining us. And I think it's so perfect and timely because Easter is tomorrow. All right, we are moving right into our This Day Only. And with our This Day Only, it's from Origami. Origami <laughs> is our number one best-selling, top-selling organizational brand here at HSN. And I love that Origami is venturing in to our garden because this truly is a problem-solving product. When I talk about how many of us, if we live up north, and you're listening to me and you're going, Robin, it's really not, it, it's spring, but it doesn't feel like spring. Well, maybe you want to get a jump start on gardening and planting you're going to get this and you're going to create the perfect environment for your plants, for your herbs, for your tomatoes, your strawberries, whatever it is you're growing in your own greenhouse. I've always wanted a greenhouse and now origami is bringing it to me. We have it in two choices. We have it in the bronze. So here is your bronze. And then we also have it in the teal. Oh, how do I love the teal? How pretty is the teal? You're also going to get the cover coming included origami. We know it's the art of folding, Japanese art of folding. It opens and closes in seconds. No tools required. Rebecca Wood is joining us. She is our product expert. Hi, don't Rebecca. you love it? That was the first thing she said too, is I've always wanted a greenhouse. I've always wanted it. But you know what? My husband says to me, are you kidding? A greenhouse is like thousands of dollars to build. And can you move them? No. <laughs> you can no. never move them no. either. So if you've always wanted a green thumb, but you were probably born with more of a purple thumb or a brown thumb, don't even worry about it because this is going to give you the perfect, perfect environment to take those seedlings and really make them take hold before you put them in the ground. It's, it's wonderful. So in true origami form though, you don't have to go and build a huge shelf before you start your gardening. Right. Look, I'm gonna show you how simple it is. We're right. gonna take but this off. your tool belt? You don't need any tools. I don't need any you tools. You don't need any instructions. You don't fight with your honey <laughs> when you're putting them together. <laughs> Come on, you know that. Put it, if you ever want to test your marriage, after, build furniture. Okay, with here's my own advice after 19 years of marriage. Um, don't put things together. 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 <laughs> I, you can accept it. I learned. I learned because I'm always like, I'm, my husband's like, okay, I'm going to put this together. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go do yes. something else. I do and the I same leave, right? thing. First of all, I hate instructions. Hate right. them. Look no that. instructions. This is how it's going to come to you. Exactly like this. Flat box, just like this. You roll it out, you take it out, and you just let gravity do all the work for you. So and cool. then, and then you just put on the arch. Right. The, but you want to take this class. This is the famous origami class. And that's patented to origami. Patented. When you do that, you're locking the system into place so it will hold 100 pounds. 100 pounds. So that soil, those are your containers, wow. those are your flowers. Here your I thought tools. it was 50. 50 pounds. <laughs> Okay. Do you know, earlier today, I, I just, actually I just want to make sure. Maybe I Rocky can it. double check No, it is 50 pounds. Oh, I had, the, okay, they 50. also have a wonderful gardening potting um, uh, bench that I sold earlier today, and that yes. was 100. Oh, okay. But really, it, it's going to be tremendous for all, all of what you need to create the perfect garden. Okay. So you saw that, how easy that was for me to put it that on. That was really easy. If you wanted to use it just as your shelf, you don't even have to put these on. We have these, so the waterproof cover will just lie perfectly over top. Nice! And you just lie it right over. Look how easy it is. And you can have it zipped, fully zipped, or you can also have it up. When you have it zipped, 
that's when the sun's going to get that humidity. Right. It's going to make those seedlings, those roots take hold. And when you put them into your garden, they're going to burst with right. produce and plants and vegetables and yeah. everything. It really creates the perfect environment for them to flourish because it's the right temperature. It's the right moisture. It's the right humidity because you have this cover. Exactly. So you're really setting yourself up for success. And maybe you're just starting to grow strawberries, tomatoes, and you've got the little seedlings and you want that perfect environment because the environment isn't perfect where you live because maybe it's still a little chilly. Maybe spring hasn't fully sprung. Here in Florida, it's already very warm. And now you can have that perfect environment no matter what your weather is. And I think that's so smart. And because we have such a smart, savvy guest, Rebecca said to me, <laughs> I would use this for the pool. Well, that's, Tell us about it's that. A water, this is waterproof cover. So, and it's stainless, you got this powder coated steel. steel right. So you never have to worry about it chipping. You never have to worry about it corroding. You never have to worry about it rusting. You can keep this outside and it is going to stay as beautiful as the day you took it out of the box. But you told me to use it like a pool you cabana so you and put it, to get the towels But in how many times do you put a shelf by a pool and yeah. it, the first thing it does is it's, it's going to rust and it's going to yep. corrode. This will never do that. Put your towels, put your, you can put your pool toys. You can even put the cushions for your patio furniture in here and, and then just zip it you just zip it down and it's gonna be protected just like that. I mean, you could use this clever. if you're grilling. Say you're gonna have a huge barbecue, you can put your food in there, <gasps> zip it down, and yes! protecting it from bugs. That is See? the best! I, it's, yes! <laughs> I love it. Rocky, our producer's like, and Monty won't steal the food. He doesn't eat table food. So I'm one of those that I want the most out of what something that right. I'm buying. So right. say you use this for all of your gardening needs, but then comes winter, right? right? What would you do? You could bring this indoors and look at all the beautiful flowers you can display wow, that looks inside. Pretty. So if you have a patio or a porch, maybe a three season porch, you can put this out there. Yeah, like a sunroom. A sunroom and have yeah. flowers all the time. And I like this little arch. I think it's pretty even with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then because this is powder coated steel, if you have this outside, you could water your plant just by using the hose. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it rusting or corroding. Well, and I think it's nice because if you are going to leave this outside, I think not only because you have the waterproof cover, so it creates the perfect environment for whatever it is you're trying to grow or start, you know, from the seedlings, it also protects it from bugs because, I mean, obviously it's not bug proof, but it helps to deter them because they can't get in that easily because it's a full cover. So if you have deer maybe where you live and this is sitting on a porch or where they could walk up, you know, they can't really get through this once you zip no, it up. Exactly. Right. Once it's zipped up, and you can even tie, we have little ties, so you can tie them right to the legs oh, nice. and hold okay. it in place. And the great thing about that, those little cute bunnies and deer that eat all of your produce, yeah. you can actually protect them in here, and you can actually eat the produce instead of those bunnies <laughs> eating cute. it. Yes, right? exactly. But look at how easy it is. When it comes down to it, it's workmanship, I think, with origami, right. ease. I mean, it took what, minutes? Uh, yeah, minutes. Not it even. could not have been any easier put together. And you know what? While you open and close that again, I want to share with you um, what the height is. This is 63 inches in the length. So it's five mm -hmm. foot, about three inches. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you've got 19 inches in the width. Fantastic. I like this little graphic. And then 24.1 inches in the, the, the uh, I guess that'd be the width, right? The depth. Yeah, the, the depth. depth. So the depth. when you're going, it's 19 inches out. So that's not a very big footprint when you're taking this. If you right. are going to put it up again, against your house, it's it's not a very big footprint for getting 50 pounds of storage. That's right. massive. And also think about um, the fact that this weighs 18.68 pounds. <laughs> I mean, here, I just want you to show you. I can pick this. Yes, it's on wheels, but if you had to pick it up, it's not going to be super heavy where you can't move it. And then if 18 pounds is heavy to you, well, guess what? It's on wheels. <laughs> and two of the wheels lock in place, too. Nice. So you don't have to worry about the beautiful pots that you'd put on there, uh, you know, roaming or falling off. It's right. going to lock in place and it's not going to budge. But it's going to come just like that. You let gravity do the work for you. You use this gorgeous clasp that I love. I love it because it could not be any easier. Right here, it's a patented lock. And once you put that into place, that 
secures the system to hold 50 pounds. Yeah, and I think there's nothing better than how I feel when I'm going out and to my herb garden oh. and I'm cooking my dinner for my family and I'm, I'm taking my own herbs that I grew I love and it. I'm making a marinara, I'm making yep. a sauce. It's, it's about a moment when you go out there to your own oh. garden, to your own greenhouse, and now you're taking your own herbs. Maybe it's your tomatoes that you're starting to grow and you're keeping them in here. It is an easy setup and fold down powder coated steel so it's very durable very strong resist corrosion resist the elements of outside 50 pound capacity the cover is coming included here it also ties down on the side so you don't have to worry about it flying off if it gets a little windy couldn't but be easier putting it on no, either it's very easy you know i love how you said that because i started probably just about 10 years ago gardening yes because i really did think i would kill i used to make a joke i kill everything i touch i can't you know i'm worried about having kids because I can't but even you can grow, grow babies. Really, <laughs> really, really cute <laughs> ones. You. I love them. I love them. <laughs> but if you are that type of person that's just afraid of actually starting a garden, this is the way to go. Yeah. You're going to put your seedlings in here. You're going to prep them, and they're going to start to take root. They're going to get hardy. And so if you're in those cold climates right now, Minnesota just got some snow, so there's no way you're going to be putting any kind of plant in the ground anytime soon. Your growing season is this long. So prepare them in here, get them ready. They'll go right into the ground and yep. then you're gonna start getting produce sooner Right. Because they were so hardy from being in here. Yeah, and it's all about, I mean, even for the professional gardeners, it's all about creating that perfect environment for them to flourish, for them to be able to have, I mean, especially if you're using spray and grow and you want to be able to spray and you want to be able yeah. to give them the proper nutrients and vitamins and minerals to be able to be at their best. It, think about us. When we're at our best, we all flourish. We're more productive. We're more alert. We're more awake, right? The same thing goes for your green house that's exactly what you're doing for them and I think it's such a wonderful thing even if you have grandchildren to get them outdoors to get their hands in the dirt to teach them and to see things grow when spring comes it's like it's so exciting to see what pops up what kind of re revitalizes and comes back to you know it's like yeah. we had a hard freeze here in Florida and, and a lot of things looked like they died they but a lot of ruined. things in my garden are coming back and that's the beauty of spring and I think having your own greenhouse truly sets you up for success we've We've got the four flexible payments of $21.24. You also have two color choices. There you're looking at your bronze. Then we also have it in your turquoise. turquoise. Mm -hmm. I really like this. It's like J. King t turquoise. And I'm going to tell so you, you're going to want to keep this outside because right. something you don't know when you are <clears throat> um, growing plants. It's better to have that rainwater. There's more nutrients in rainwater than if you're taking it from oh. the city. And this can take it. So it can rain on here. You can hose this down. You can do, get it muddy, get it dirty. That's what it's there for. Yeah. Spray it down. It's not going to rust. It's not going to corrode because it's yeah. origami. And, and what if you, I'm thinking, what about if you got two? Because, I mean, obviously, you know, it's up to you and whatever your budget allows. But I think if you got two, you could do one as the garden where all the plants go in. And then maybe if you come over here with me, you're going to do maybe your pot. Pottery, maybe your, your your shovel, your rake, the small little handheld tools. You can get cute little stainless steel buckets and you can fill it all up. Maybe it's your hat, it's your sunblock, it's your spray bottle. It's all the little things you need that you always... <laughs> It's my husband always says to me, it's like 10 million trips back and forth to the garage to get all the little things yep. when I can just have one little area that everything goes into. So this is very versatile. It is. And use it however you want. I love how you said that to bookend. How cute would this yeah, be bookending be nice. your garden? But on your pool, you can easily put all of your towels, your pool toys, and protect it from the rain because of the waterproof cover. Yeah. You can use this as your grill table if you want. And when you're having that party, you can just to shut it right down and try to keep those bugs out. You could use it even as a drink if you're, I mean, use it as an entertainment cart, a drink, yeah. put the ice maker out there, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. However best you could use this, you can use this. Well, don't you think that's what origami is all about? You yes. know, we say origami, you know, it's the ultimate in organization and really something that is functional and practical, but what origami does is transforms any space in your home and sometimes we say this is what it's for, but you'll come up with 10 other ideas for how it works for your life <laughs> right which is that's why we love origami uh rebecca thank you for thank being you here thank you so much thank you always said so you love this as much as i do i know it's really smart <laughs> okay we would
love for you not only to join me and have fun shopping this evening, but also our good friend Sarah is on the community page and she is chatting with everyone and she would love to know how are you prepping and preparing for spring. So have fun, give us some great ideas, maybe let us know what your favorite product is. One of my favorites that I believe is a must have for spring is spray and grow. Because if you don't have a green thumb whatsoever, spray it and grow rocks. And it's available on hsn.com, but we've got much more coming up, stay tuned. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. joining us because he is the ultimate green thumb and honestly <laughs> he is a plant geek which he says himself so mm -hmm. I'm not being offensive Absolutely. when I say that you also work on helping to develop product yeah. you have a diploma in horticulture you have been featured on so many morning shows <laughs> in England and it's always great to have you on our side of the Absolutely. pond so, so you really inspire us mm. to really help us achieve the most beautiful lush uh, just overflowing <clears throat> garden of mm. flowers and honestly if you think I have no green thumb, I can't do this. <laughs> These are the most beautiful lilies and I will kill them. Oh no, 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 no. That is what Meadow Valley is all mm, about, is setting absolutely. you up for success. We're setting you up for success with plants that are tried and tested, different varieties of bulb, trees, shrubs, perennials. And we're always looking for something that's a little bit different that you can't buy in the DIY stores, that Look you can't this. find in the garden centers. And this is a perfect example. This is not just any lily. Okay. Lilies are usually about a foot tall, aren't they? Right, they're very short. You have to bend down to smell them. You're probably going to get pollen stains on your nose, <laughs> on your blouse, on your How trousers. You know? But no, these are tree lilies. So these are growing to six feet in the first year. <sighs> And those stains and that pollen is at nose height as well. So you can just walk along to them and enjoy them yourself. Yes. The blooms are dinner plate sized as well. So almost 12 inches across, richly perfumed as well. This is yeah, better very than- very fragrant. Oh, this is better than any scented candle. It is absolutely glorious. This is a pretty woman, Lily. It's growing six feet in the first year. I like the name. But it's perennial as well. Okay. So it grows back every year so it will get bigger and better so eight feet in the second year and up to wow. 10 feet so this will grow in sun okay partial shade a range of different soils as well and you're going to plant them a few inches apart so you can grow these as a hedge okay. or you can grow them in patio containers or at the back of the border all of those difficult corners of the garden where you haven't got any color right. you're trying to cover an ugly fence or I mean, a wall this is the plant for you this 
is easy to grow, great for beginners, it great is, for kids it's too. It's honestly magnificent. Mm. And because we, with Meadow Valley, want to make sure that you are getting these in the prime time when you should plant, mm -hmm. we are going to send this to you based on your zone. And here is a map. So we do all the work for you Absolutely. to really set you up. I know, I know you don't want to hear me say that again, but set mm -hmm. you up for success. Mm. So we're here you can see that zone map. You don't have to figure it out. We're doing it for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So we're sending you everything at the right time for planting in your state. Okay. So we're not going to send the bulbs when your soil is waterlogged or icy and frozen. We're sending it at the right time in order to give you those flowers this summer. Because remember, you haven't got to wait more than one season for these to bloom. You're going to plant them in the spring and you will have flowers by midsummer this year. And those flowers will go on from the end of July to the beginning of September. Do I need to fertilize? No, nope, you can fertilize with spray and grow and okay. it will help you get bigger, more bountiful plants. But to be honest, all the goodness is okay. in the bulb because this is why bulbs are brilliant for beginners. And then we want to share with you this warranty mm. because this warranty is incredible. Uh, so with our warranty, you're gonna, this is a perennial, so you have a one year for all perennials. Plants will be replaced with the same or comparable plant at no charge. Uh, 90 days for annuals, but you said this is one year, right? Yep, this is a perennial, so this would be a one year warranty. So if you're not happy with what you've seen in the first year, then get in contact. Right, and then if out of season or unavailable, your money will be refunded. Mm -hmm. So this is really something that we want you to try. We want you to kind of venture into something that maybe you would see this and actually I don't think you would see something mm -hmm. like this in your home store or where out no. and about in the garden center this is so special that with Meadow Valley we have it here and here one thing I always like to do is let you see how you're getting it when you get it at mm -hmm. home. So I want you to know exactly how this is going to work. When you open this and we send this to your zone in the right time, which we're gonna take care of for you, here are the three bulbs that you're going to get. I would love, Michael, for you to walk mm. us through. Once we of get course. the bulb at home, what do we do <clears throat> next? So you're getting three of these top size bulbs. So these are flowering size bulbs. When you buy bulbs in the DIY store or the supermarket, you cannot guarantee that they're flowering size. They may be slightly smaller bulbs, they may not be as well developed, but these are flowering size bulbs that will give those flowers this year. And when you're growing bulbs, see the little. exactly, so yeah. the shoots are ready to roll and all this bulb is waiting for is to be dropped into a medium of soil or dirt. So Any that's type all you of need soil? to do. Any type of soil, it's incredibly versatile. Remember these are going to grow in sun or shade, okay. they're going to grow in the border or, as you can see here, in containers as well. You're gonna plant those just two to three inches deep, and it literally takes two to three seconds to plant those up, and you're gonna plant them with the shoot upwards. Okay. So let me show you with the second bulb the way around that is. So you've got Honestly, the roots at the base the shoot and the shoots at the tip. So okay. bulbs are ideal for beginners because all the goodness is already in the bulb. So all of that growing power and the shoots and everything the plant needs to grow is already stored in here and it's been built up in there from the year before. From Mother Nature. So almost with bulbs, you cannot go wrong because all that goodness is in there. All you've got to do is plant them into a medium. Okay, now what about water? So yeah. once you've done in the three... In terms of watering, there is one way you could go wrong with bulbs. Everybody, uh, put, our, put your listening ears so on. So you really got to listen to this bit. Okay. A lot of people plant their bulbs up into their containers and then they give those containers a lot of water and they water them every day and they think that the more water you put in, the quicker the bulbs are going to emerge. Okay. Not at all, because those bulbs have already got that goodness inside, they've already got all the moisture inside, all they're doing is waiting to sit in mm. that growing medium before they start to grow. So, so you just need to plant into moist compost. Okay. And that's it. You don't water them anymore until you see the first shoots oh. come through the surface of the okay. soil. And that will be within two to three weeks anyway. Will there be an exception, like say it's really super hot and my soil is super dry, would then I give it a little spritz? You if it's exception, if you're in a very warm state, then you may want to water your soil so, from time right. to time, but always okay. allow it to dry out between watering. Awesome. The worst thing you can do is have those bulbs sitting in very moist, moist compost. Water. Okay, I love mm. that tip. Here's what we want to do. We want to remind you is the after, is look what you can grow. Mm. I mean, tomorrow is Easter, the Easter lily. Mm. I mean, to me, there's nothing this more the stunning than lily rides, weddings. <laughs> I mean, these will Absolutely. grow up to six to eight feet. I mean, that's incredible. Now, with only about 800 left of our pretty woman, I would love for you to be able to take advantage. And why buy from us? Why buy from Meadow Valley and HSN? These are all handpicked for your beautiful, uh, to be beautiful and simple and easy. Plants will be shipped to you at the perfect time for planting. One year warranty on all 
perennials, which our pretty woman is. And then you're gonna have 90 day on the warranty for annuals. And then planting and care instructions will be included. So everything Michael just kind of walked you through, mm -hmm. don't fret, it, you'll get a little planting guide coming included. Yep. Everything will be there in the box, step-by-step -step instructions to help okay. you every step of the way. Yeah, I know you were really mm. excited about the six piece super busy Lizzie. Uh -huh. These are some patterns, which is the super busy Lizzie. Okay. These are three times the size of standard busy Lizzie's. They're incredibly so weatherproof and tolerant as well. They'll grow in a range of different soils. They're They'll grow gorgeous. in sun or shade. This is possibly the only bedding plant that you will need this summer. And we're offering that them an amazing value here. Better value than you'd find in the stores. They'll grow in sun, shade. They're flowering over exceptional Now, how do, the color, do we choose periods. the color? Or? You get the whole color mixture. Oh, nice. So you're so getting a, a blend of the reds, the violets, the purples. It will be the most vibrant plant in your garden this Could summer. Could you imagine like a flower bed oh, or a border? It is like gorgeous. around trees? Each plant is about a foot across and a foot tall. So sun or a shade? cubic foot. Sun and shade. Okay, both. It's an amazing, versatile busy lizzie. It will okay. grow in a range of different soils as well. Now, I wish I was as smart and I knew everything like Michael does, but I do <laughs> not. So what gives me my green thumb is spray and grow. This has 17 natural and occurring micronutrients. And those are the vitamins, the minerals, just like we take vitamin minerals, mm. so do our plants. And this is our liquid micronutrient complex. I swear by this, I use it on my herbs, and I'm telling you, my herbs, I post it on my social media, everybody mm -hmm. like doesn't believe that that's mine. Yeah. And I'm like, seriously, people, <laughs> I did this, and I swear it's because of spray and grow. Um, but you can see with and without, the, your fruit is juicier and tastier, you have more blooms, and we have the 16 ounce to 22 ounce, and then we have the spray as well, so ask about that. We just wanted to kind of give that offer for you because it's perfect to go back with mm. your meadow lawn and it'll also work with your lilies and this next variety. Mm. This is our lily of the valley. And honestly, this is so elegant, so oh, sophisticated. It's the English classic. It, it is. really is. And you know what, this is prized. <laughs> this is prized as that English mm. plant. And what is so exciting about this is this is the rare, very distinctive mm. pink lily of the valley. We've seen lily of the valley, but yep. not this in pink. This is very different. And that is right. what we're bringing you here at Meadow Valley. We want to offer you something that's different, okay. harder to find as well. And these are specially grown oh in Holland and these are the blush pink variety of Lily of the Valley. So it's got exactly the same right. delicious fragrance, better than any candle, better than okay. any great shower gel or perfume that includes Lily of the Valley. This is the real thing. You can grow it in containers, you can grow it in borders. It's a very useful plant for dry, shady corners beneath trees, shrubs. It has gorgeous full foliage as well and beautiful berries at the end of the summer. Ah. But of course, the main display is in the spring and you've got this gorgeous bouquet here that shows you the blush pink of these Lily of the Valley. They're great in sun, partial shade, they're flowering in the spring and you're gonna plant them a foot apart. And remember, you're gonna be able to plant these in those difficult corners of the garden. Okay. Maybe you've got gaps between your perennials and your shrubs. Mm -hmm. Put some Lily of the Valley as a, as a low carpet, mm -hmm. a lovely blush pink kind of vintage feel carpet. Oh, or grow beautiful. them in containers. This would be great for weddings, maybe for little oh. favors at a wedding or maybe centerpieces at the wedding. It would be gorgeous. Oh, it really, really, really would. Beautiful and then variety. If you missed out on our beautiful pretty women, Lily, and we mm. talked about our shipping dates, we have worked this all out for everyone. So obviously because we're here in Florida, you can see we're, these are not gonna be shipped until March 26th or later. So we, so if you live in New York, it's going to be a couple weeks from now, maybe about three weeks from now. So depending on where you live, Minnesota, it will be May. But guess what? You don't have to worry your pretty little head about that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna figure it all out Everything for you. Everything set at the right time for so planting with full time. instructions as well. So okay. you will have success with whatever we're offering you here okay. in the Meadow Valley range. And of course, everything we're offering you is different to what you can find in the stores yes, yes. and the garden centers. So okay. this is your blush pink lily of the valley. So this is a, and you said that's almost rare. a re Yeah, it's really rare. It's always very hard to get hold of. And it's okay. extremely special as well. It's almost a specialist variety. Okay, so here is what you're going to receive when you get it at home. It's gonna be four of your bare root, field growing <coughs> dormant lily of mm. the valley, do you say pips? Pips. pips. So okay. they're basically called pips because they're very small shoots which have a root on the bottom. Okay. So you're going to plant those with the shoot upwards. And again, it may look like a dead kind of albino spider, but actually, <laughs> this is the best way to grow plants because this is a dormant bare root plant and you're basically 
planting it while it's asleep. So it's not going to disturb the plant at all. So we're lifting these from the nurseries in Holland. They're well grown in some of the best soil in Europe and we're lifting them and sending them to you whilst the plants are dormant. So that is the perfect time to establish them in your garden at home. So right. this is the best way to grow plants. It would be hard to find this plant in the shops as it is, but even when you did, why pay for that dirt? Why pay for that container mm -hmm. when you can buy the raw materials? So this is direct from the nurseries of Holland to your garden at home in order to grow that blush pink rare variety so, of lily of the valley. Yeah, I mean, it's very feminine. There's, It's mm. so romantic. The fragrance that this emits is amazing. If you love Perlier and you love the lily of the valley, if it is a fragrance, a lily of the valley, and you love that scent, imagine mm. now having that aroma mm. as you go outside on your patio and you're having your glass of wine mm. or you're having like a little cheese board with bread and, you know, oh. nuts and things like that. <laughs> imagine having that aroma. Imagine just the how gorgeous they are and then think maybe you're going to be doing your own flowers for a wedding and you want to be able to snip and maybe make a smaller bouquet yeah, just small bouquets just cut some for the sideboard in a small vase sure. or grow them in containers they look particularly beautiful when you grow them in a contemporary container maybe something yeah. more vintage you know because you've got that blush pink look of the bloom so it isn't your typical crystal white it's the blush pink lily of the valley. And look how quickly and they grow. And you said watering well. is, the, is the rule of that. That's very So funny. watering. You don't and want to water the magic them of too often. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to water them just every few days. A lot of people okay. overwater their plants. Right. If you live in a warmer state, then you're going to need to water them more often. But generally, only water your plants when the surface of the soil dries out. Dries out. And you'll be able to see that for yourself. Right. But of course, when you're growing these lily of the valley in containers, you'll need to water them. But when they're in the border, they're going to establish and look after themselves. Okay. They're going to be very useful in dry, shady corners, beneath trees and shrubs, awkward little corners of the garden where mm -hmm. perhaps you've got bare soil. Yeah. And of course, the more bare soil there is in the garden, it's, it's, the more chance weeds have to get to, through. To get so through. cover the soil okay. with some of your favorite nice. plants. So I uh, continue to call in here with everybody calling in. We have less than 800 now remaining. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. Michael, thank you for being thank here. You. I know no we'll worries. see you throughout our big spring home mm -hmm. event. Um, we have our today special coming up next, our pressure washer. You don't want to miss it.